Thank you for joining us uh, on this special broadcast. For those following our coverage of the Augusta Westland case, you would know that there are two principal players who haven't come out yet, who have not spoken to the media either. One is Christian Michel and the other is Guido Hashke. It's believed they've both fallen out with each other and one of them or perhaps both could turn approver and cooperate with the Indian authorities. Some say that the Indian government authorities are already in touch with these two individuals. Well, joining me is Rosemary Patrici Dos Anjos, who is Christian Michel's lawyer, and she's joining us live now from Milan. Rosemary, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, where, is, where is your client, Christian Michel? Why is he hiding? He's in Dubai. No, he's in Dubai. Everybody knows that he's in Dubai. Uh, he is, lives there. Why is he not coming out and speaking if he wants to clear his name? Well, uh, he, he would like to go and speak and to be interrogated by the court, the Indian court. But at this moment, he has um, a problem because uh, the last government uh, put him in, uh, asked um, a, a measure to, to arrest him. So now he cannot go out of Dubai and he cannot travel and um, he doesn't want to be in the jail. So that's why he's not going to India. But is he, he in touch? Think that is, is, is there he... is any need to be in the jail or to be interrogated. Yes. Is he in touch with Indian government authorities? Is he in touch with Indian government authorities? I, can, I, can, I cannot hear you very well. Uh, Rosemary, is Christian Michel, is he in touch with Indian government authorities? No. Rosemary, let me try this once again. I was asking you, can you hear me now? Yes, because the line is, the line is really bad. Okay. okay. Is, he, is, is Christian Michel in touch with Indian government authorities? No. I'll try and get the audio line fixed. I'll take a small break. I'll take a small break at this point, <laughs> Rosemary. And I'm going to come back at this point, Rosemary. No, who's I cannot hear you. I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll, we'll get the audio line fixed. But at this point of time, yes. Rosemary, who's Christian Michelle's lawyer, says that Christian Michelle is very much in Dubai. She hasn't answered yet whether Indian government authorities are in touch with her client. We are going to get back to this interview in a few minutes. Well, we are talking to uh, Rosemary, who's Christian Michel's lawyer. She's joining us live for a first interview from Milan. Uh, Rosemary, we got disconnected. I hope you can hear me now. You were telling me that Christian Michel is in Dubai, and I was asking you whether he is in touch yes. with Indian government authorities. Is he in yes. touch with Indian government authorities? Right now? Yeah, over the last few you, days. You mean with who he's in touch or before no right now over since this news no, I came don't know. out i don't know with who he's in touch with I, is he in touch with anyone no, from I the indian government this. i don't know i really don't know if he's in touch with any any authority well why is why is christian michel on the run why is he not facing the law enforcement agencies if he wants to clear his name Why? Because he has an arrest warrant and he's, uh, um, that's why he cannot go to India. He's not free to, to go. Uh, he would like to go and answer everything and, and tell the truth, but not with a, an uh, arrest warrant because there is no, no, no need, no reason to be uh, in the jail. That's why. So he's available to answer all the questions uh, in front of the judge. 
but uh, we, he must be sure that he is not going to be arrested. That's so. Is he willing to share details of this entire deal? Is he willing to reveal the truth about what happened? Well, uh, I think he will tell the truth. He's always telling the truth. Uh, and the, let's see, he, his interview, he, he said the truth. So there is no reason to, to, to not tell him the truth. He, what he knows, he will tell, but only the judge, only if he, he is free to go, and only before the judge. And then he will say everything. So is he, let me ask you, uh, in his letter to the prime minister, he said that I am prepared to travel to India if I am not arrested on arrival and given permission to leave. Uh, so let me ask you, is he willing to enter into a plea bargain That's true. with the Indian authorities? Well, uh, I don't think he is uh, uh, participating on the uh, criminal proceeding in India. Yet he just didn't know about uh, the arrest warrant because he saw it on the uh, Interpol website. That's so. He he never been invited, formally invited by the Indian authority to participate in the, the the proceedings in India. So he didn't know anything about it. He just find out when the Interpol site publication published his name. So um, if he had a, a formal invitation, I'm sure he would be uh, happy to go to India and answer all the questions. Is he so willing the to, authority, is he willing to, he, uh, should that have invited him? Sure. Is he willing to spill the beans and expose everything about the VVIP chopper deal? about the Augusta helicopter deal. Yeah. Is he willing to expose everything about it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He, I think he's able to, to explain everything. I think he's able. Yes. But uh, the only thing is that uh, uh, he has to be um, formally invited by the Indian authority and he must be sure that nothing wrong will happen with him. That's so. So, That's if, so. so he wants an assurance. He has a lot to say. A so, lot to so say. So he wants an assurance but that he won't be condition. arrested. And if he is given an assurance that he won't be arrested, he is willing to expose everything. Because, yes, e exactly. You know why? Because there is no need, there is no need to arrest him to know the truth. If you want to know the truth, you just give this condition. But if you don't know, if you don't want to know the truth, you just keep the arrest warrant on. That's very easy. So if it, the government wants to know the truth, but it's very not, it's nothing to give the condition, the insurance. But if you don't want to know the truth, you just keep this. That's all. So I think there is something wrong on all this. Because if he is available since last November to go to India and tell everything, why he, the Indian authority keeps with the uh, hasty warrant? Or they don't want to know the truth, or there is something else that I, I really I don't know. Now you've been in touch with, are you, have you been in touch with Christian Michel over the last few days, Rosemary? Yes, every day, all the time. Every day, all the time. I'm in touch with him every day, all the time. Uh, he knows about the money that was paid in the Augusta deal? So, if he, in the authority, he, yes. What, what does he say about that? That he knows about the money that was paid in the Augusta Pardon deal? Me? Who got the money? What kind of gifts were given? What kind of money was given? He knows I about know. it? He, all those questions... Well, all those questions must be done by the judge and directed to him. It's not my, it's not my uh, I'm not allowed to say anything because I don't know, I mean, I'm a lawyer. So the only thing I can say is that he's available to answer the questions in front of the judge. So if they know, they really want to know the truth, they have to invite him and ensure him that he's not going to the jail. That's so. So all the questions must be done by, to him. But, but Rosemary, 
obvious, no, but Rosemary, don't know about but, the but Rosemary, don't know about let's, the, 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 is he willing to tell an Indian judge, if an Indian yes. judge were to ask him that has money been paid to any politicians or any yeah. people from the military, is he willing to give the names, share the details yeah. and be completely honest with the facts on who got the money, how much money they got. Is he willing to give all these details to an Indian judge? Well, as far as I know him, he's a really, really smart person, very, very serious man. And I'm sure that he will say only the truth. Everything he knows, he will say. As far as I know him, and I know him for quite a while, so I'm sure he's a very, very, um, very strong man, and he, he is telling the truth. He will help the, in the authority. But, but what does he know, tell you? Uh, he must be does, sure does, that nothing wrong will happen to him. No, no, uh, that's fine. You're constantly repeating that, that nothing wrong should happen to him. I understand that. But surely he knows who got the money. Surely he knows who got the money, who got the bribes. He knows about it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know even. I understand, I understand, but I, I, nobody knows about this because nobody finds any uh, evidence about this. So um, I, I, I don't know because the only thing I know is what happened in the proceeding in Italy. I don't know what happened in the in, whole in the, history. In the proceedings the in Italy, he knows everything. So, Rosemary, in the proceedings in, in Italy, yeah? there is a letter of Christian Michel that is written to yeah. Peter Hullett, who is the India head of yes. Augusta Westland in 2008. Yes, yes. Calling, yes. calling Sonia Gandhi as the driving yeah. force behind the deal and saying that Sonia yeah. Gandhi's closest associates need to be targeted. You know about this note. Yes, uh, yes, I know about this note. I think that what he was trying to say is that he was able to get in touch with that, those people because he's been traveling to India about 30 years. The only thing I think, I, I know that he knows everyone in India and he could get in touch with him, any, any, any person, any important person, even this, those pe people. But I, I don't know. I, he said that he never met them. He said that to me. Uh, I believe in him. I believe in really. But I, I really believe what he's saying because he's really correct man. But um, I don't. I think he, because they didn't need to get in touch with those people. He didn't. He he, he just stopped it. So uh, I think it, that was um, what happened. Right. Now the the critical question is, Rosemary, were politicians approached by Christian Michel yes. or anyone else in relation to the VVIP choppers? Because his father was known to have political connections in India. Were gifts or money or bribes paid to members of the political yes. class in India? Yeah. Well, uh, I know that uh, he had a, a, a not very good relationship with his father for 10 years. He started to work with his father at the beginning of his uh, career, but uh, after they had a problem, a uh, personal problem, and for about 10 years, he didn't get any, any contact with his father. Uh, so what his father did is different what he is doing now, and he's different from his father. As far as I know, um, maybe his father had many contacts, but he was just um, doing his job as, as, as Right. He's always say that to me. He, he knows many people, but he's just doing and very well his job. That's why he was working for Augusta Westland for almost 30 years. Uh, Rosemary, there is a handwritten note, another note of Christian yes. Michel, which has initials and numbers, you know, yes. amounts amounts that are lit, believed to have yeah, been yeah, paid yeah, off. Yeah. Yes, I know that. I know you, the budget. Yes. They call, they call, yes. In, in in Italy, we call budget the budget sheet. Yes. Yeah, this, well, what, what, uh, that 
Can you tell me about it? It was found. Yes, okay. Well, that document was found uh, in the Husky mother's um, house under the bed. So, uh, with the other documents that we um, ha have the, analyzed all of them, and we find out they were all false. So, Christian Michel knew that all those documents, he, he never saw the documents before. So, we did um, a graphologist. And we, we, we have um, many documents about this. Um, and so he never wrote in those documents. We really believe that all those documents are falsed by Mr. Haskett. That's what we really believe. So what Haskett knew, knew that he was under investigation. So what uh, we think that he prepared all those uh, forged documents uh, you know, to, to, to give all the, um, um, the responsibility on Michel. That, because Haskett said many times, many times in front of the judge in Italy, in Switzerland, that he was not, uh, he, he didn't have a good relationship with Michel. They had a very bad relationship. So Haskett, because the Christian Michel, he didn't like the contract, the Guardian contract with the IDS in Tunisia. He didn't like that contract at all. So Husky wanted to keep the contract on and they had a very bad uh, relationship. And when Husky found out that he was under investigation, he prepared all those forged documents. And then he went to the judge and he said that Christian Michel had uh, written, written all these documents, and uh, today we have many, uh, many cases against uh, um, uh, Husky the, for um, forced. Yes. Yeah, but 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 Christian. No, there is another calumny. Uh, so, it's so, another crime. Is that we we. So it, we, so Christian Michel and Guido Husky have fallen out. They are not on talking terms, from what I understand, from what you're saying. That they are blaming each other for what has happened in the Augusta. Yes, they day. had a very, they had, they had, a, they used to have a very bad. Exactly, they had, and Husky said that many times, many times, on the front of the judge, he did like, he didn't like Christian Michel. He didn't like because Christian Michel wanted really very much uh, stop it, finish, close the contract with the IDS in Tunisia. That's why Guido Raski was really upset with the Christian Michel. So we believe that he forged all the documents. Okay. It's very easy. Uh, tell me, Rosemary, how come your client Christian Michel suddenly left India when the case yes. came out in the media? The moment it came out in the media, just as a preliminary inquiry started, the in Indian investigators started an inquiry, the next day Christian Michel left India. Did somebody tell him, did somebody tip him off that he was going to be in trouble if he would stay in India? Why did he suddenly leave India? No, 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 no. No, I don't believe in this. I think this is a really a, a very, a very bad gossip because he has been in Italy many times and he went to Switzerland. I was with him in Italy. Uh, we went to the court. We, he was in the court of Milan. He went to Buster Caesar court, he went to see the courts. He never had a problem to come to Italy or to come to any country in Europe. So why he, he would be afraid about India? Because he had a hassle warrant from India, uh, Italian court and I, it was revoked. I removed the hassle warrant and he was free to come. He came many times here many times so there is no point to think that he was uh, escaping or running away from india because in that time he didn't have any arrest warrant against him just now it's, a, it's about six months that he has no. have, um, has an uh, arrest warrant from indian authority so no. on 2013 th there wasn't any now i understand but tell me now rosemary there was another contract that Christian Michel signed. I have a copy of that yes. contract with me in which he uh, manages the media. He handles yes. uh, 
ensures that there is no negative news about Augusta Westland. Uh, uh, what was this uh, deal for and how did he do this? Well, I really don't know. I just find out with the media. I didn't know about this. I, I really don't know. I never talked with him about this. So I, can, I cannot say a word about it. Oh, did he have I'm good sorry, relations with many I, journalists? The only proceeding that I, I'm looking after is that... Uh, what? Did he have good relations with many journalists? Did, will he reveal the name of the journalist who he was in touch with? Because a large amount of money was paid to him to manage the press in India, to manage the media in India. No, 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 no. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I don't think this is true anyway, but I don't know. I really don't know. Right. No, no. I don't know about this. So, 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 sorry. so you're saying you can't confirm uh, whether he's him. in touch with the Indian government, he's, whether he has been speaking to, because my information is that there has been contact between Christian Michel and the Indian government. Can you confirm that? I don't think this is true. I don't think this is true because if it was true, I think he wouldn't have any red notice against him at this moment if he had any uh, contact. No, with I'm the talking Indian of authority. contact in the last few days. Uh, I'm, talking, I'm talking. I'm talking of. Any... I'm talking of contact in the last couple of weeks. I, I don't know. I don't know about this too. I don't. I don't think he has any any contact. He's not getting get touch with with no one because he's really afraid about the situation. He's worrying about the situation. He well, it's, it's not it's, it's not very nice to have a ready notice uh, against you. So and even after uh, two, two uh, degrees of the proceeding, his, uh, the court uh, found him not uh, uh, responsible. So, and, he's, and India is still uh, going after him. So I don't think this is a very so nice situation to be in. I and I don't believe that he's in touch with anyone. Yeah, so, so Rosemary. I don't think he should trust anyone anyway. Why, why, why shouldn't yes? he trust anyone? He's the one who should be revealing the truth. And well, because uh, India was well, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you exactly what I think. Uh, well, India was in the India Authority was in Italy in the proceeding as a civil part. Indian Authority asked for eighty thousand millions of euros of damages. They were here, they didn't bring any evidence, just three very essential evidence. He didn't participate of the appeal. He just disappeared and then suddenly nobody knew and they just start with the arrest warrant against Christian Michel. So why he should trust anyone? They well, accept I mean, the uh, Rosemary, what they you're were saying here. is that the they Indian had government... the possibility to participate Yes. No, 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 no. Please continue. What I'm saying is that what I'm saying is that what you're saying is that in the past, the Indian government has not followed the case very, very yes. closely or sincerely or strongly. But now things may have changed. The government may now exactly be following the case very you. strongly. Exactly. So exactly. what's wrong with that? Yes, yes. I don't know. I know that they did very, they, they, they participated in proceeding here. They, they could do everything, bring evidence, uh, tell everything, tell the truth, uh, cross uh, examination, all the witness. And they just, uh, they did very, very in a low profile. And then they did participate sure. in the appeal. Sure, and but, then but now they are telling everyone that Christian Michel is the, Go on, go on. go on, go on. I cannot. Yes? Well, that's what I'm saying. So why sh he should trust anyone? Because the Indian Authority was here. They know everything about the proceeding. They know that there is no evidence against him.
they know about. Well, now but they keep the, going over, over, the, the uh, simple, against him. The, the simple so point why? is, Rosemary, that now a higher court I, I, has. I ask you, why they keep going against Christian Michel? Well, because Christian Michel is the middleman in this case. Because Christian Michel has been accused of paying well, bribes to the Tyagis. He found it not guilty. But, no. he, but he paid bribes to the no, Tyagis. No, this is not true. This is absolutely not true. Well, he has been... No, the, no, no, the, no, no. The 225-page no. order say that he of has the... No. Rosemary, the 225-page order no, of the Indian the, Court yes, of so Appeals. If you read, if you read it carefully... Yeah. Yeah, I can. I have read it carefully. I read it again. If you read very carefully the 225 pages. Well, you will find out the court said there is no evidence against Christian Michel. There isn't any evidence sorry, against him. Sorry, sorry, but I think if you are. If you read carefully, I think. I think. Okay, now let's read, read you, this you carefully. Let, let's read this carefully. The 225-page order of the Italian Court of Appeals says that payoffs were made to Indian officials and there are unmistakable in indications regarding corruption of an Indian officer identified as the cousin of the Tyagi brothers, which implicates the former Air Chief of India. The Italian Court says that companies owned by Christian Michel, mm -hmm. companies owned by Christian Michel, promised and effectively paid the brothers Julie and Sandeep Tyagi a sum of money not exactly quantified in the no. entire operation to Air Chief Marshal S.P. Tyagi. You are reading the wrong part of the... No. No. You are, you are not reading the... the, 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 the um, how you say... The right part. You shouldn't... It's not the part. When you want to read about Christa Michel, it goes to page 165 to 174 when the court talk about Michel and if you like I can read for you and well, the end they just say the same find as the first degree say there is no evidence that it, they find out that Christian was working for Orsi and Fee Mechanica and Augusta Westland deal this is true but they couldn't find any evidence against Christian Michel so, about the bribery see Rosemary if there Rosemary, was bribery I, I don't I, agree with your interpretation but yeah. let me ask you anyway you're saying that Christian Michel did not pay any bribes but he knows who paid the bribes right he knows who paid the bribes and he should be telling the truth about Probably. it now if you dare no but listen you are saying that Listen to me, you're saying that who pays the bribe, but we have a, the third degree in Italy. So we are not sure, absolutely sure that there was bribery because the first court said that there wasn't any bribery. The second court said that there is a kind of a bribery. So we should, we must wait for the third degree to find out of course, the real that's truth. That's a standard because answer that you are now, giving, Rosemary. You don't Rosemary. have any answer. Yeah, of course. If the I first mean, but, degree said there is no but, bribery. But the, but, the, but, the, but the court of appeals has said that there was bribery, that large amounts of money was paid to Indian officials, and we in India want no to know who got the money. As the first degree. No, we we in India want to know who are the politicians Listen, and military know, people who got I, the money. I, I would like to know too. Yes. So why doesn't why doesn't Christian Michel come to India? You have been yes, saying repeatedly in the course of I this interview like that Christian Michel wants to come to India. <laughs> but tell me simply, Rosemary, if he comes to India, is he willing to spill the beans? Is he willing to spill the beans? Or not? I think. I think he. Yes, yes. He will say the truth. I don't know. In any, you don't know too if there was bribery because we need to wait for the third degree. So now uh, the second court say something different from what the first court said. But you, you, we must wait for the third degree to be sure that there really was a bribery or not. But this is different from saying that he's going, he's going to India to, to tell what he knows, but not about what you're telling me, who pays the, the bribery, so, who got the bribery, because so, we don't so, know so about the bribery yet. So Rosemary, we just, we are, this, the, the situation is going on. Yeah, the situation that yes? you are describing uh, in, in simple English 
is called turning approver. Now, in America, they say that this means he wants to enter into a plea bargain. I don't know what you call this in Italy, but in India, we say turning approver, where you say, I don't want to be arrested and I'm willing to become a witness in the case. I don't want to be arrested, but I want to share the information that I have. I don't want to be arrested. And if you agree to my terms that I'm not arrested, then I'm willing to go into details and tell you everything which I know about the case. So that is called turning approver. Mm -hmm. the, the situation that you're saying is called turning approver. Yeah. But he wants that guarantee, you are saying. Before turning approver, he wants a guarantee that he will not be arrested if he comes to India. Yes. Yes. Yes, very easy, very easy. Just a guarantee and then he goes and he can be uh, interrogated. Yes, it's very easy. You don't need to do anything else. Just uh, ensure him that he's not going to be arrested. If you want to know the truth, otherwise you just live like this, you know, and then we will do what we need to do. Well, Rosemary, uh, clearly you're defending Christian Michel to the best of your ability. I'm not convinced with everything which you're saying. I'm certainly not convinced when you say he did not pay bribes. But I think it is very important that you're saying he wants to reveal the truth on a guarantee that he won't be arrested. I can only tell you he should also speak the truth and he should speak it on this channel. Let's see whether he takes our questions. I thank you very much, Rosemary, for joining me. That's Christian Michel's lawyer joining us from Milan. Thank you very much, Rosemary Patrici, for joining me. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you.